Here's a little known fact. Women were among the very first to brew beer ever. From Mesopotamia to the Middle Ages to colonial America, women were the ones doing the brewing. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Wow. Look at this shit. Wild. It's time beer made it up to women. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer industry's shit. Yeah, just gets cringier by the day, and we do love politics in products, don't we? No. We don't. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've all had a great day, as I'm sure many of you are aware by now, because it is trending wherever you look. It didn't take too long for another beer company to cause a load of controversy in the form of another campaign. This one is all to do with Miller Lite. Now, I believe this campaign in itself was released a couple months ago. There is a little bit of confusion surrounding when it was released. Some people think it was recently. I believe it was released around Women's History Month, but because of what's happened with with Anheuser-Busch, Bud Light, everybody's got a microscope on all companies and the campaigns that they're releasing. And this one got a load of people's attention. Let's read this Daily Mail article to give a little bit more context surrounding the whole thing. It's time beer made it up to women. Miller Lite apologizes for using women in bikinis to sell beer after campaigns featuring Sofia Vergara, Meghan Markle, and Pamela Anderson. New ad echoes woke Dylan Mulvaney controversy. Miller Lite has apologized for its history of advertisements featuring featuring women in bikinis with a woke commercial. In the 1 minute and 30 second spot posted online, comedian Lana Glazer says it's time beer made it up for women, as she touted women's role in the brewing process going all the way back to early civilizations. She explained in the commercial that Miller Lite created a campaign for Women's History Month in March to buy up old marketing materials to turn them into compost, which then could be used to make fertilizer. That fertilizer would then be donated to female hops farmers, and then the hops grown from the recycled materials would be sent to female brewers. Now, I'm going to give an unpopular opinion straight away here, okay? And I know it's going to be unpopular because the uproar is huge, but I don't think this is as bad as the Dylan Mulvaney Bud Light one. I just don't see it in that light. You're more than welcome to disagree with me. I know there are so many people out there who think this is worthy of a boycott, but for me, I just think the Bud Light one, what Dylan Mulvaney represents, does a lot more harm in the grand scheme of things. However, do I think the whole premise of this advert is cringy and the delivery is horrible? Absolutely. I think the intro alludes to that. But before I give my reasonings why, let's check out this ad that everybody is talking about. Sit back, relax, and take a watch. Here's a little known fact. Women were among the very first to brew beer ever. From Mesopotamia to the Middle Ages to colonial America, women were the ones doing the brewing. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Wow. Look at this shit. Wild. It's time beer made it up to women. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer industry's shit. Miller Lite has been scouring the internet for all this shit and buying it back so that they can turn it into good shit for women brewers. Literally, good shit. How, you ask? Ladies, take it away. First, we turn the bad shit into compost. Then we feed compost to worms. Push out beautiful fertilizer. That good shit helps farmers grow quality hops. Which has been donated to women brewers to make their own really good shit. But there's definitely more shit out there your attic, in the garage, in your parents' basement. Send any shit you got into Miller Lite and they'll turn that into good shit too. Oh, so here's to women, because without us, there would be no beer. It is just so cringy to me, man. It really is. I want to know how many takes they took filming this whole thing, because I refuse to believe it was less than 50. All jokes aside now, okay, this just doesn't make any sense to me, okay, because this beer brand is now apologizing all of a sudden for repaying women because they were the first beer brewers all the way back in early civilizations, and they repaid them by putting them in bikinis. So what you're essentially saying here is, you know, all the women that modeled for you in the past in bikinis, well, they mean nothing to you now. We don't want anything to do with them. You want to forget about them. I mean, you even covered up their faces. You essentially invalidated them in this whole campaign. You want people to return memorabilia for compost. It's like they're trying to rewrite their own history at this point. And the more you think about it, you know, and this is going to be controversial to say again, and you're more than welcome to disagree with me, but the message in society right now is it's empowering for women to show their skin, wear bikinis, 
But what this campaign is saying is that brands like Miller Lite using women in bikinis for advertising is sexist and misogynistic. That doesn't make much sense. It's like people will use certain agendas for when it only suits them, especially these companies. You know, they'll use them when it suits them. You can't tell people one day it's empowering and then the next it's not. It either is or it isn't. I mean, the comedian herself is being laughed at all over social media because she has been pictured in bikinis everywhere. That's how you know it's cringy, not authentic. Because if she's telling people, hey guys, look, you know, wearing bikinis in advertisement is sexist, misogynistic, but she's wearing them everywhere, that doesn't make any sense, right? It's like they just use this campaign to make something seem misogynistic, sexist, because they could. The silver lining is they use a real woman, right? That's the good thing. That's what a load of people are saying, you know, they used a real woman. Thank the Lord for that one. That's how low the bar has been set. We just expect these companies to use a man identifying as a woman. Let's be real here, okay? Regardless of how you feel about this, and I'm sure many of you will leave your comments down below, but do you think the people who are the main target audience of this company, men, are going to look at this and think, you know what, this resonates with me so much, I can connect with this. Obviously not. There is nothing wrong with attracting women to your company, making them feel more important, making them mean more to your company. Okay, I don't think anybody's disputing that. But there are ways to go about it without going down the classic, oh, this is sexist, misogynistic route because you think that's all women are interested in when they look at brands. It's just the route they've gone down, okay? Because once you go down this route, you are then also saying the people who bought the beer are sexist, misogynistic because, well, obviously they agree with us, which is why they bought the beer. You are then alienating men from your brand. There are so many ways this company could have gone about it without causing all of this controversy. So many ways Miller Lite could have done it. But they opted, I think, for the easy controversy. And look at the reaction. But you know what it really comes down to? Do you know what people really want? And this is to all these companies. Do you know what people are so desperate for? For you to keep your noses out of politics and just sell the products, that is it. It is that simple. But because it is that simple, you cannot help yourselves. It is so simple, we avoid it. You have to push politics. You have to cause controversy. And that's the state of the world right now. Imagine if a company just sold the products with no political agendas behind it whatsoever. I can't because that means we won't be living in 2023, would we? Really? But make sure to leave your comments down below, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very interested to see how you guys feel about it. Do you think it was on the same level as the Mulvaney? I would love to know. If you have enjoyed, then please for me, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Until next time, however, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day. Stay safe. I'm out. Peace.